So for this particular lesson, uh, we're going to learn how to solve linear equations involving algebraic fractions. Okay, now, um, if you have a term such as 3 over x equals to 8, okay, really what you can do is to cross multiply. Now, what do I mean by this? 3 over x, 8 can be expressed as 8 over 1. Okay? So what you can do is take the numerator on the left hand side here of this fraction, you multiply it by the denominator of the other fraction which, which is across the other side of the equation. So 3 times 1 is actually 3. And 8 times x, you put it on the other side of the equation which is 8x. Okay, you really want to solve for x here. So x is equals to you divide both sides by 8, you get 3 over 8. Okay? Maybe I should write here, divide both sides by 8. Alright, so maybe let me give you a uh, more concrete example. Okay, um... So this is one of the methods. Okay, you can what you're doing here is called cross multiplication. Okay, let me give you another example here. Say we have five over x plus two plus three over x close to zero. So in a situation like that, okay, the only thing we can do is we've got okay, we've got two algebraic fractions. Can we express it as a single fraction? So we have what we'll get is 5x over x, x plus 2 plus 3, x plus 2 over x, x plus 2. Alright, and then uh, we'll get 5x plus 3x plus 6 over x, x plus 2. 5x plus 3x equals to 8x plus 6. You get x, x plus 2. So, okay, now, actually this is, this whole function here is actually equals to 0. Okay, this whole this whole function here is actually equal to zero. So I should have... Um, okay, let me just continue here. S squeeze a little bit. Okay, it goes up here. Okay, uh, this is not the best form of presentation, if I may tell you. Okay, so 8x plus 6 over x, x plus 2 equal to zero. In fact, if you present it this way, your teachers will deduct marks. You should let it equate to zero and then go on to the next line vertically downwards. Alright? Okay, so just uh, for the sake of time, okay, what we do is we multiply both sides of the equation okay, by x x plus 2. Now, 8x plus 6 over, over x x plus 2, if you multiply it by x x plus 2, you will get 8x plus 6 because you'll cancel each other out and 0 if you multiply by x x plus 2 you will get 0 so 8x equals to negative 6 x is negative 6 over 8 x is negative 3 quarter alright ok maybe let's try another example that we have here um, quick one, okay, if we have got 5 over y minus 2 equals to 3 over y, a single fraction is equal to a single fraction. What you can do is you cross multiply. Okay. 5 multiplied by y is 5y. You put it on one side of the equation. 3 multiplied by y minus 2 is 3 bracket y minus 2. Okay, and 5y, if you expand the brackets, it becomes 3y minus 6. 
okay and then if you bring 3y over to this side of the equation you get 5y minus 3y equals to minus 6 you get 2y equals to minus 6 you get y equals to minus 6 over 2 you get y equals to minus 3 so these are just some examples on uh, how you you can solve uh, linear equations that involve algebraic fractions